The rule for division of positive and negative numbers is the same as the rule for multiplication. To divide two numbers, we divide absolute values. The quotient, that is the answer, is positive if the two numbers have the same sign and negative if the two numbers have different signs. So 12 divided by 4 is 3. We already knew that. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is also 3 because we simply divide absolute values and, and if the two numbers have the same sign, the answer is positive. Down here, same thing. We divide absolute values. In both, case we get th both cases, we get 3s. Since the two numbers have different signs, the answer is negative. Let's go to the board now and work a couple of problems. We want to go and work these first few problems here and show the corresponding multiplication problem just so that you can see that our rule is the correct one. 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2, and that's because 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Remember that every division problem is accompanied by a multiplication problem with the same numbers. So the reason that 8 divided by 4 is 2 is because 4 times 2 is 8. Now, 8 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 2 because the two numbers have different signs. And just to justify that, negative 4 times negative 2 is, in fact, positive 8. So negative 4 times negative 2 is 8 is the reason why 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. The associated multiplication problem is 4 times negative 2, and we know that to be negative 8. So, in fact, it does work. And our last problem down here, negative 8 divided by negative 4 should be positive 2. The associated multiplication problem will be negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. So, we know that this problem is true, and because of that, we know that this problem must also be true. But all I wanted to do right here is show you that these associated multiplication problems that we know the answer to justify this rule that we're using to divide positive and negative numbers. What's really important, though, for you is simply that you operate according to that rule, that that rule becomes second nature to you when you're doing division. Let's look at some harder problems. 2 times negative 3 divided by 6 minus 3. This fraction bar right here serves to separate the numerator from the denominator. So I'm going to work on the top, 2 times negative 3. That's negative 6. On the bottom, 6 subtract 3 is 3. Now I do my division. Negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2. I simply divide absolute values. 6 divided by 3 is 2. The numbers have different signs, so the answer is negative. My next problem here is a little more complicated also. I want to work on the numerator separate from the denominator. So let's start. I have addition and multiplication. I'll multiply first. I have negative 42 plus 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. All that's divided by 20 subtract 4, which is 16. Now, negative 42 plus negative 6 is going to be negative 48. Because the two numbers have the same sign here, I add absolute values and use the common sign, divided by 16. Now, negative 48 divided by 16, I divide absolute values. That gives me 3. And the two numbers have different signs, so the answer is negative. So that comes out negative 3. Okay, this problem right here involves an exponent. I have negative 5 to the second power plus 20 divided by 4. According to my rule for order of operation, I want to take care of the exponents first, negative 5 to the second power, negative 5 times negative 5, which is 25, plus 20 divided by 4. Next, I have addition and division. I want to do division before I do addition. So this is 25 plus 20 divided by 4 is 5. And now 25 plus 5 comes out to be 30. So some more interesting kind of problems where we use the rule for order of operation and we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and now we know how to simplify uh, uh, numbers that are combined by any one of those four operations. Let's go to our next problem. Negative 100 divided by 10. Whoops, let's go up a little bit. There we go. Negative 100 divided by 10 divided by 2 right here. So I have all division right here, and when it's all division, then I need to work from left to right. So I'm going to say negative 100 divided by 10 first, then what I get, I'm going to divide by 2. So I must work left to right. Negative 100 divided by 10 is negative 10. I simply divide absolute values, I get 10. The two numbers have different signs, so the answer is negative. Now that's divided by 2. Negative 10 divided by 2, I divide absolute values and get 5. 
The two numbers have different signs, so the answer is negative. So if I have division like this, more than one division, and they're lined up without parentheses or anything, then I need to work left to right. Now let's look at our last group of problems here. We want to approximate each expression over here with one of the numbers on the right. So none of these numbers over here is the exact answer to any of these problems. We want to simply see which ones are closest to the problems that are on the left over here. So negative 151 plus negative 49, here's my addition problem. This is subtraction with the same two numbers, multiplication with the same two numbers, and then division with the same two numbers. So negative 151 plus negative 49, let's see, that's going to be, this is about negative 150 and another negative 50, that should be negative 200. As a matter of fact, there's that problem right there. Negative 151 plus 49, okay, negative 151 plus 49, that's going to be around negative 100, and that answer is right here. Negative 151 times negative 49, this would be like negative 150 times negative 50. I'll multiply absolute values, get a large number, the answer will be positive because these two numbers have the same sign. So that's going to be about 7,500. And now here's negative 151 divided by negative 49. I'm doing division. The two numbers have the same sign, so the answer will be positive. This is about negative 150. This is about negative 50. When I do that division, I should get something that's close to positive 3. So kind of a mess there with those numbers. But uh, a good problem to do because it involves all four operations, add, subtract, multiply, and divide with two negative numbers. And so we should be able to look at these and estimate which one of these numbers, because these are all so different, is the answer to each one of these problems over here. So now you're able to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with positive and negative numbers. At this point in the course, you want to be real good at all four of those operations.